arts of computer. Hello friends! Just like you use your eyes to see, your legs to move and your mouth to talk, my body parts also perform different functions. In both the cases, different body parts work together to complete some task. Bones, muscles, organs, blood, etc. make the human body. Each part of the body is important and is needed for survival. Similarly, the different parts of a computer work together and are needed to perform their specific functions. A computer with all its parts together makes up a computer system. The different parts or devices can be divided on the basis of their function. Input means giving data or instructions to a computer. Those devices that are used for providing input are called input devices. We select different icons on the computer using a mouse. So, mouse is an input device. We type in commands and instructions by using the keyboard. So, keyboard is another example of an input device. Microphone and CD-ROMs are some more input devices. The result obtained from the computer or the work done by it is called output. The devices that help us to get that output from the computer are called output devices. On a monitor, also called a VDU, we can see the output. We can get it on paper by using a printer. We can save the files on a CD-ROM or hear it on speakers. So, monitor, printer, CD-ROM and speakers are output devices. A monitor looks like a television. Its function is to display information, pictures and videos. There are two types of monitors, CRT and flat screen. We use a keyboard to write or type letters, numbers and symbols. A keyboard has alphabet keys, numeric keys, numeric keypad, spacebar, arrow keys, backspace, caps lock and some special keys. A mouse has two buttons, the left button and the right button with a scroll wheel between them. It is a pointing device and it is used to move the cursor on the screen. Just like your brain controls the rest of your body, the CPU controls the functions of the computer. This is why the central processing unit or CPU is called the brain of the computer. Speakers are used to play sound. When you play a game, song or a movie on a computer, the sound comes from the speakers. We can get a hard copy on paper of our work done on the computer by using a printer. For letters or documents, we don't need different colors, so we can just get a black and white print. What if you wanted to print an invitation card for your birthday party? You would want that to be colourful. For printing something with different colours, we need a colour printer. There are two types of printers available. Black and white printers and colour printers. If you write or draw something on paper, can you input that into the computer? Yes, we will need a scanner for this. A scanner reads the information on the paper 
and then changes it into a form that the computer can understand. The scanner looks like a Xerox machine. A microphone or mic is used to record sound or voice. We can use the computer to call people anywhere in the world using the internet. To be able to talk to them, we need a microphone. CD stands for compact disc and DVD stands for digital versatile disc. CDs and DVDs are storage devices. They can store data like movies, music, etc.